Hi and welcome to Battleboard's video. Today we're going to look at some custom made trees. These are beautiful trees that can be used with any terrain set. And I'm the little major. Yeah these trees are awesome. They look really good on the terrain and they can fit any scale. What are they made from then? They look so real. They're made from a natural root source. This then has foliage added to it. The root is dried over a long time. This prolongs the life of the tree itself. They look really good. You're really clever. Unfortunately, I wish I was this clever. No, these aren't made by me. These are made by our Battleboard's tree man. Oh, I see. I didn't think you were that clever. Well, thanks. This takes years of practice, and this man specialises just in tree making. But how's it attached? Each tree comes with a sharp pin, look. That's then pressed into the board. Each tree can be put in, repositioned, and place somewhere else if need be. Different trees can then be added to the same board for different games say, making your boards look completely different for different scales and different games. That's great they work for different scales. You can see this Flames of War figure looks really great with the tree. We don't just do living trees, we can also do dead trees or fallen trees. These are great to add to your boards to add extra cover for figures. Don't worry, this archer will take care of him, but it illustrates how well the trees work with any figures. You can easily add one or more trees to create small wooded areas or forests, or simply remove the trees if they get in the way of figure placement. I see the US Marines are back, they're never going to get that cheap across that brook. I'd go around if I was Probably a good idea. I'm sure they'll figure it out. As well as trees, we'll also be stocking a variety of ground foliage as well. This is also great just to break up the general area. Okay, so I get it. You get your trees and you just poke them into the terrain. That's great. But surely that's going to mark the terrain after time, or the tree's going to fall out. Oh, you'd think so, but when you remove the tree and you have a close look at the terrain itself, you can see it's left no marks. I mean, this piece of terrain itself has had several trees put in it over the course of this video, and no holes. That's just awesome. So you can just keep putting trees in as long as you like. Yeah, and look, and even when you turn the thing upside down, give it a good shake, the tree won't fall out. That's just great. But they do look a little bit delicate. Well, they sort of are. I mean, it is a natural product. It's a natural root, so some care has to be taken. Well, that's all right. But if it's a bit delicate, how are you going to get it to the place? Well, that's a really good question. First of all, we've got to protect the pin by putting this soft pad on it. That way, when we put it in the bag, it's not going to damage the bag itself. We place the tree in the bag and seal the bag with an airtight seal. This creates a cushion of air around the tree. We'll seal the bag up tight, which still traps the air inside. So when pressing on it, you get a cushion of air around the tree. The tree is then placed in a box with some bubble wrap. When it's all sealed up, Even banging the box or banging it on the table will not damage the tree. We open the box, examine the tree, and look, you can see it's still in one piece. Oh, well, that's just really clever. Did you think of that? No, unfortunately not. Thanks for watching our tree movie. I hope that gives you a bit more of an insight to how the tree accessories work with the boards. You better tell them that the trees are now available from the website. Oh yeah, right. They're available from the website now in the shop. www.battleboards.co.uk can you, can you get me off this thing? I'm starting to feel sick now. Can you, can you get me off? I really do feel sick.